2012 is going to be a busy year on the River Thames. Tourists and participants drawn by the London Olympics will be using the Thames as their taxi route and playground. And then there are the hundreds of thousands of visitors who come here each year, drawn by some of the most iconic river views anywhere in the world. On top of all that, a magnificent pageant has been planned for June 2012, when Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II will celebrate her 60-year reign. Hundreds of boats, big and small, will mass for a vast procession of steam, sail and oar through the centre of the capital city in celebration of the Diamond Jubilee. This surge of activity on the river emphasises the growing popularity of the Thames as a destination for small boats, as well as a commuter route. And with all the focus on the Middle Thames, it's easy to forget the river forms the second largest port in the UK, handling millions of tonnes of cargo each year. All that human activity needs human eyes and ears on hand to ensure safety for all. The Port of London's Harbour Patrol Service provides those eyes and ears. There is a presence, a helping hand and a guardian of safety over the river and the working port, from Richmond all the way to the English Channel. The Port of London Authority's fleet of launches is changing to respond to 21st century needs. This year, two new purpose-built patrol boats are being launched. Well, these boats have been designed to use the latest technology to provide the patrol service and also pilotage down at Gravesend um, in a much more efficient way, in a safe way. The Olympics patrols with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee uh, regatta that's going to be on the river, um, these boats are just going to be fantastic for providing that service. So, with the arrival of these new launches, the Port of London Authority's commitment to the needs of river users are better served. But as importantly, there's a commitment to the environment as well. Compared with our existing launches, these vessels use a lot less fuel. The reason for that is that the catamaran twin hull form has been designed for maximum efficiency moving through the water. In doing so, we move much less water out of the way, create smaller waves, that's good for the shore bank and so on. But also, it means that we're not using fuel just to push water uphill. Um, so we do our service with uh, less power, less fuel consumption, generally better for the environment. Kew and Southwark are the second and third launches of their kind to enter service on the Thames. Lambeth was launched in 2009. All three are tailor-made for this job and the result of five years of careful research and development and an investment of £2 million. The Port of London Authority is getting ready for 2012 and what will be one of the most important years in the Thames' long and illustrious history.